Let's kick things off with the hilarious and irreverent National Lampoon magazine, which burst onto the scene with its satirical wit and biting humor in 1970. This magazine pushed boundaries, taking aim at politics, pop culture, and really everything in between. Its iconic covers, outrageous articles, and legendary comic strips brought laughter to countless readers. However, as tastes evolved and the digital age dawned, the era of National Lampoon magazine gradually faded away, leaving a void in the world of satirical print publications. But its legacy lives on, inspiring generations of comedians and reminding us to never take ourselves too seriously. Rise and shine, serial enthusiasts. In 1971, a breakfast sensation hit the shelves, the beloved Buckwheat's Cereal. Made from hearty buckwheat oats, this grain-based delight offered a wholesome and nutritious way to start the day. With its crunchy texture and nutty flavor, it quickly became a breakfast staple for many families. General Mills switched the popular maple flavor to honey, though, and that marked the beginning of the end. It eventually disappeared from supermarket aisles completely. In 1972, Downy Flake toaster eggs came out. They pitched them as fluffy, frozen, fresh eggs that you could cook right in your toaster. They came in four flavors, plain, cheddar cheese, country style, and western. The pitch was that it was so easy your kids could do it themselves. And they were pretty easy, they just didn't make it that long. One notable car that was introduced to the United States in 1973, but it's no longer around today, is the Volkswagen Type 181, also known as the Volkswagen Thing in the United States. This unique and quirky vehicle was based on the Volkswagen Beetle chassis, and it featured a boxy, utilitarian design. The Volkswagen Thing had an open top, removable doors, and a rugged off-road capability making it a popular choice for adventurous souls and for beachgoers. Sold for just two years in the U.S., though, sales ultimately were just shy of 30000 It's time to feed your taste buds with a blast from the past. Gerber Singles. These single-serving, ready-to-eat meals were a game-changer for busy individuals, or at least that's what Gerber hoped. They made their debut in 1974 with a variety of flavors like beef stew, turkey and gravy, and even spaghetti and meatballs. They offered a quick and hassle-free dining experience. It was marketed mainly towards singles and senior citizens, but they did find their way into multiple households. However, as culinary preferences shifted and a desire for fresher homemade options grew, Gerber singles gradually faded into obscurity. Lights Camera Betamax The arrival of Betamax, a home video recording format in 1975, revolutionized the way we consumed and enjoyed movies. With its superior video and audio quality, Betamax quickly gained a devoted following. Movie buffs and families alike cherished the ability to record their favorite shows and watch them at their leisure. However, a rival format VHS emerged, triggering a fierce format war. Despite its initial success, Betamax eventually lost the battle as VHS gained widespread adoption due to longer recording times and lower costs. The Betamax era may have come to an end, but its impact on home entertainment cannot be overstated, paving the way for future innovations in video recording and playback. Get your game on with the Telstar Gaming System, a true pioneer in the world of home video game consoles. Telstar brought the arcade experience right into people's living rooms. In 1976, they offered a variety of games like Pong, tennis, and hockey. With its simple yet addictive gameplay, families and friends gathered around their television sets, immersed in hours of competitive fun. 
the Telstar's iconic paddle controllers and colorful graphics captured the imagination of a generation. However, as technology advanced and more sophisticated gaming consoles emerged, the Telstar gradually faded into nostalgic memory. Though its reign may have been short-lived, the Telstar gaming system played a significant role in bringing the joy of gaming to households worldwide, laying the foundation for the vibrant gaming industry we know today. Things got a little trashy in 1977, with Milton Bradley's release of the board game Town Dump. The object was to push as much trash onto the opponent's side using a motorized bulldozer. Needless to say, the game never really caught on, and it didn't prove to be much of a treasure, and so it didn't stick around for too long. Get ready to unleash your inner Charlie's angel with Farrah Fawcett's Shampoo, the ultimate hair care secret from 1978. Inspired by the iconic actress and her luscious flowing locks, this shampoo promised to deliver glamorous volume and a radiant shine. With its signature scent and Farrah's dazzling smile on the bottle, it quickly became a must-have for those seeking to emulate her timeless style. Every shower was a chance to channel the Farrah Fawcett allure and to transform ordinary hair into a crowning glory. In 1979, the revolutionary Sony Walkman, a game changer in the world of portable music, burst onto the scene. This iconic device allowed music lovers to carry their favorite tunes wherever they went. With its sleek design, lightweight construction, and groundbreaking cassette playback technology, the Sony Walkman ignited a musical revolution. People adorned their belts with its iconic orange headphones and basked in the freedom of creating their own personal soundtracks. From the exhilarating sound of rewinding tapes to the satisfaction of hitting play, the Walkman became a symbol of individuality and musical liberation. While advancements in digital music eventually made cassettes and Walkmans obsolete, their legacy lives on as a nostalgic reminder of a time when music became truly portable. What things did you love in the 1970s that are no longer around today? We'd love to read about them in the comments below. Thanks for sharing. And thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.